Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about Oplay games and today we're going to be playing Super Mario Odyssey. Now, in the last video, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we came to the Snow Kingdom and we saw that Bowser's already messed up this place pretty much as well. And we need to collect these four moons to go ahead and open up these gate sort of things. And then once we do that, we can face off with Bowser. We've already gotten two, as you can see in the top left corner. We just need to get two more. So we have door number one over here. I guess it's technically door number three since I already collected two in the last episode. Go check that out, by the way. I mean, you don't have to, it's just... If you watch the whole series, it, provi it provides a bit more context for stuff that's going on. But pretty much everyone's played this game, so I'm sure anyone can pick up on the context here. If, if you can't, then just... Bowser's here, we need to go fight him, and we need to collect these moons to do so. And that's pretty much it. Where's the last thing here? I don't know why it's not letting me tilt around my camera. Let me hop down just to check. I don't think it's on the ground here. <clears throat> oh, there it is. I don't know how I missed it. <coughs> Sorry for my coughing there. It's just my voice is really scratchy today. I don't know why. I guess because I just recorded yesterday, so... By the way... If you don't know how I record this, uh, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, each of those days I record one video, and then I upload one of those videos on Monday, and then I upload the next one on Wednesday, and the next one on Friday. So you should be seeing this on a Wednesday, granted you see it when it comes out, but if you're not, then just, hello, how you doing, future person thing. So we're three-fourths of the way done with getting through there. One barrier to go, says Cappy. This is the last level, and you can easily just skip it. There we go. And that's the final moon that we need to get. There's like a whole level before that, but... We didn't really miss anything, it's just stacking up Goombas, but we've already done that in a previous episode. So that's the final barrier removed, so we should be able to go and check out Bowser, or, you know, just see what he's doing. The Bound Bull Grand Prix. Looks like we're gonna get a bit sidetracked first. Huzzah! To the race course! We have this nice little slide down here, and it leads right to this opening section. Snowline Circuit. It seems that something's awry. Hmm, can't start without one more racer, so it seems like one of them's chickened out. We can confirm this by talking to this person. One racer won't come out of the waiting room. What's taking so long? Let's go ahead and check out, and this is a pretty, like, weirdly structured waiting room. Just like parkour up to this little snow area. By the way, it looks like we found our guy. Race? I don't wanna. The other racers are too serious. I don't stand a chance. If someone else wanted to race, they would be welcome to take my place. That's kind of like a little rhyme thing there. So, you might notice that he's not wearing a hat like the other guys. So now we can capture him. And just kind of bounce around. This is one of my favorite captures, personally. It's a bit weird to control at first, but once you get kind of used to it, it's pretty easy. I also remember there being a glitch here where you can get out of bounds and just walk around on the racetrack as Mario, but it was like kind of weird. But, put aside all that, it's time for us to race. Finally, now we can start the race. Our Frost Frosted Cake was stolen, so the prize will be a multi-moon. Are you ready to race now? Yes. It's been a while since we've had a race, so I'll start with some training. So that's just the game's way of saying, hey, here's how you play. Just bounce. 
and try to get to the end. It's like Mario Kart, but with bouncing. It's a knockoff Mario Kart. That should be the title of the video. So yeah, you make it once around the track and the game is like, hey. Or, I guess it's not. But eventually the- oh yeah, Cappy's like, I think we're ready for the real race. And I think so too, I've played this game a couple of times and so I think I should be pretty decent at this. Snowline Circuit Class A. Two, one. So yeah, it, it devolves into chaos right from the start. If you press the B button as soon as you hit the ground, then you'll get an extra little boost of speed. And you have to complete three laps in order to win. This first one is pretty easy, but there are some optional extra ones that you can do that what, that are pretty hard. At least from what I remember. So that's lap two of three. Just one more lap to go and we should be pretty good. I like these little zigzag sections. We're already lapping people, which is- well, I shouldn't say already, but we are lapping people, which is a testament to how fast we're going. And we finished. One minute, one second, and 70 second- 77 milliseconds. So our fastest one was the 20 second round. We, we did pretty good on this one. What a race, you were like a supersonic snowman. I don't know why I pronounced it snowman. It's snowman. Supersonic snowman. Your prize is a multi moon. A new champion is born. And then once we collect the multi moon, we turn back into Mario. That would be so weird if you. If. You're hosting this race, right? And there's this one person who's like, I don't want to, I don't want to race. And so there's this guy, right? And he goes into the waiting room and he's like, and out comes the guy that didn't want to race before. So you're like, oh, he must have given him a pep, pep talk and you start the race. And then at the end, you're giving out the prize and <laughs> somehow the person that won the race turns into the guy who went in and I don't know why I'm trying to apply like real life logic or not even real life logic I don't know why I'm trying to apply logic to that at all but hey we only need three more power moons and then we can head off entrance to Shiveria oh I think I saw something over here Oh hey, a stack of coins. It's pretty neat. Thought I saw some like footprints over here. Not fr footprints, but I saw. Thought I saw some like dust or snow kicking up. Got some purple coins there, or just regular coins. Never mind. If we head up here. I think there's a chest with a moon in it. Yep. The Shivarian treasure chest. Just need one more moon and then I think I'll end off this video. Let's see. What can we do to get one more power moon? I think there's one if we climb up this pole here. Okay. You can't go in there because I think you need a specific costume for that. Nothing there. I think there's one over here. I used to speedrun. Well, I wouldn't officially speedrun, just a little for fun thing. I would speedrun. And I think I remember there being a moon over here or something over here of worth. Let's see. There's a little pathway up here. Oh, that just leads to the treasure chest. 
I mean, technically I wasn't wrong. There was something of value up there. It's just that I'd already collected it. Maybe in here? Yep, there's our final power moon. So now I think this is a good place to end off the video. We... We didn't really stop Bowser from doing anything. We just kinda... Came in and we were like, Yo, I wanna race. And they were like, okay. So, not much was really achieved here except the fact that we get to move to the next kingdom in the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next video, we're gonna go ahead and head to the Seaside Kingdom, because that's the one that we didn't choose last time. So I'm not really spoiling anything. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!